Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss in Siemens TI Portal PLC programming software. When we are using the FC or FB, when there are multiple code in multiple places, how can we specifically monitor the target FC or FB inside? Monitor this target online status inside. Siemens call this terminology named code environment. In the previous video, I explained this ID number from support.industry.siemens.com. This ID number here, this is the conversional software. It called desired call environment. So in this explanation, it need two steps. The first step, we need to set the test, the test mode. And second step, if we are using the FC, we can select this co-op pass. If you are using the FB, you can use this instant DB number. And for the DB case, you can select this instant DB number. This is step seven. Then for TI portal, actually it is much easier now. So in my case, in here, in this example program, I have the IB10. I call two times, the group one and the group two. Okay, and for FC, I have FC, 20 here, I call the group one and the group two. So let's firstly look at this FC20. Inside this FC20, if I double click, so I have the add logic, I have the data one, data two, and the result go to the data result. And I prepared this DB20, okay? This DB20 group one, they will do the calculation, add together, do this result. And for the group two, the group two, R1, group two, R2, and uh, calculate this R2 result. And now if I click this monitor, so we can see the group one now is a zero. And group two, it has a data here, 13 plus 15 equal to 28. Okay, so in TI portal for 1500 PLC, now it doesn't have this code pass anymore. Okay, code pass anymore. It's very convenient. Now you can basically direct click the inside. So for this FC20 for group two, if I double click, I jump to here. And now if I click the online monitor, as we can see now, it's monitor the 13, 15. It's monitor my target FC. And if you try to double confirm which FC I'm calling, I'm monitor. So you can right click here, look at this button here. This code call environmental of the block. So now you can select which one you are going to monitor. Okay, you do not need to jump out and double click again. So you can switch from here. For example, now I'm monitoring the second one, right? The group two. If I like to switch the group one, now the group one, those results are zero. So if I select this group one, click OK then we will see the result switch to the group one. So if I set something here, let's say two plus three, now two, three, five here. And if I like to switch to the group two, so I can switch to the group two, group two. So we can switch from here, very convenient. Or if we are doing the online monitor, now if you scroll down to here, and like to monitor the group one, you just double click and go in and you can monitor. So the current status represent the one you jumped in or you can manually switch the target code environment. Okay, this is the FC one. Okay, FB will be the similar case. Now I'm closing this one. Let's switch to the FB case. So same idea, in FB, let's look at the FB inside. FB, I have the end logic and the add logic, data one, data two, add together equal to this result. And this end logic go to the end out, okay? So from the outside here, from the OB1, I call two times. FB10 instant 11, this is group one. This two bool end together, go to this result. And this two real add together, go to this result. Same idea for this group two. 
this and together go to this result. This plus together go to this result. Okay, now if I monitor this DB. If I set something, set to, set to one, set five, six, okay? And uh, set this to one, okay? We'll see the logic calculated and to here. And I will set 22, 33, 33. Okay, the calculation, they all correct. But now, if I especially like to monitor the inside of this IB 10, but the inside, I like to monitor this group two. So I can just double click, go inside and monitor. So now this result represent this group two because I jumped from the FB2. So now if I change this value to 25, you will see the 25 is changing. If I change this logic here, double click, toggle it. So we'll see this go off. If I set to on, set to on. Okay, so I jumped from the group two. Now the current status represent the group two. Same idea, if I jumped from this group one, double click. So go online, it will represent the group one status, five, six, 11, five, six, 11. So if I change to 10, so we'll see 10, six, 16, right? So add this logic here and end result. I turn this off, so this goes off. Because I jumped from the instant 11, the group one. And then same idea for this call environment. Then you can select which instant you are going to monitor, or you can switch the instant DB from here because this is the FB, okay? This is IB 10. So if I switch to the instant 12, select OK. Now they can switch to the 25, 33, 58, the group two, okay? Or I switch back, select this, switch to the instant 11, and then they switch to the 10, 6, 16. This is very convenient, okay? So in TI portal, so you can double click the FB or FC directly jump to the target and monitor this target status. This is much easier than the step seven. All right, this is the case in the TI portal for call environment selection. Okay, this is the 1500 PLC. Then the people will ask if I'm still using the 300 PLC, but I'm using the new software TI portal for this multiple use FB or FC for this call environment, how can we do that? The answer is, it's still very simple because we are using the TI portal, okay? This new software platform. So now I will do the same thing. So I will use this simulated PLC and I will download the program. So this program, they are the similar, they are almost the same like step seven. I will do a very quick demonstration. Okay, let's start up this controller. Okay, same thing from this OB1. Okay, now I'm using the 300 PLC going online. So now for the group two, I like to set to one. Okay, same thing, this is the end logic, so end logic. And the output result, I like to set 22, okay, set 33. Okay, we can see 22, 33 equal to 55, okay, this here. But the group one, this IB10, they are all zero, okay? Now, if I especially like to monitor this IB10 for this group two inside, I just need to double click, go inside and then go online. As we can see here, the current status now, they represent the group two. So same idea, if I like to switch, I can click and I can select the instant DB 11, 
then it will switch to the group one. Okay, see this is group one because group one they all zero 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 zero. Okay, then if I switch to the instant twelve or I select to the instant twelve the code pass here, I can click OK. Okay, it's switching. Then they are representing the group two. So using TI portal for 300 or 1500 or even 1200, they are same idea. So you can directly the double click, go inside of this FB10. So you can specifically monitor the logic inside. This code call environment in TI portal, they are very convenient. Okay, this is the code environment in TI portal. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.